I started off the day by banging some bits of wood into the ground. That's to give me a reference point, so I've got the same level at the front of the garden as at the back. This is quite important, there's a lot at stake, because the track bed needs to be level. It probably wouldn't hurt it too much if it was out a little bit. If I aim to get it flat, then I won't have to worry about it. When you're doing a garden railway in a smaller scale, it's hard to get plants that are the right scale for the railway. It has been said that the best thing to do is just make sure the right colours are behind the railway. The box hedging that I've moved in uh, actually looks pretty good. You'll have to forgive at this point that the camera is mounted on top of my son's train, which isn't the smoothest ride and makes a lot of noise, but it gives you an idea. As part of my planning for this railway, I've realised that it's pretty much unavoidable to have some double tracked sections. This is the main one really. The area in front of the hedgerow is about five meters long so I'm going to have to do this in two sections. Even on these double track sections with the roofing felt I'm going to encourage the growth of moss just to make it look more interesting. A bit of over overgrowth is nice. I realized I could go one step further than that if I cut a slot between the tracks and put soil underneath it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple weedproof membrane on the other side and then a small amount of soil and compost mix and I'll plant things like herbs and well whatever I can find really that I think will will grow nicely between the tracks and to a height as well so that um, it just makes the whole thing more interesting. But I have got to say I'm really enjoying getting onto the constructionating stage. I've cut my stakes to go in the ground, the longest ones are three foot long, uh, they are going to go down quite a long way but by experimenting I found they really are quite sturdy and firm when I do that. The main thing that's going to take the time here is just waiting for this bitumen to dry and I've put that on to seal it so hopefully the timber that's underground won't rot. I only wish I had more time because the progress feels so slow when it's only one day a week but I mustn't grumble I'm really happy with how things are going. It's really exciting to see all this stuff coming out of my imagination and becoming real life stuff. <laughs>